Hi, I'm Alistair, Senior Fearless Outreach Worker for South Wales. I'd like to talk a little bit about our anonymous online reporting form, but before I do, I'd just like to say a few things about our anonymity promise. We guarantee that if you choose to contact us anonymously, that you can give us information about crime without giving your name or any personal details. You will not be asked your gender or age, and we will not record any personal details you may mention. We physically cannot trace your email or IP address as our system is designed to protect your identity. We hope that this gives you the confidence to trust our service and removes any fears you may have about telling us what you know about crime. The only way anybody will know you contacted us is if you tell somebody. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the form. We'll run through the form and then we will have a look at putting in some information. The form is one page and should not take more than a few minutes to complete. So the first field is where you provide information about the incident. Provide as much detail as possible. This field is required to be completed. The next field for the location that the incident happened and should contain details of the city or town and if known the postcode. This is important as it makes a difference where we send the completed form to. This is also uh, a required field. The next field is for the date that the incident happened. If the date is not known or it is something that has happened over a period of time, then leave this field blank. The person involved, if you know the person's name, first and or last name, or even their nickname, then enter it into this area. What do they look like? Here you can add any descriptive details that you can remember about the person. If you know their address, enter it here. But remember, put the full address, the city, town and postcode if you know it. If the person concerned has access to weapons, such as knives, machetes, swords or even firearms, then you can put the details in this box. If you know the person has a social media account, then you can copy and link the address into this area. If the person is attending school or college, you can put the address here. Okay, so let's enter some information into the form. So here we're going to put Di Jones from 21 High Street is dealing drugs and carrying a knife. So there's four bits of information we know there, the person's name, part of their address, dealing drugs and carrying a knife. So the next field, where did it happen? Here we've got part of a location, but just so that we know where the form is going, we need the full address. So we add in the rest of the details. When did it happen? If it's a single date, you can select from the drop down menu and just add it into the field by selecting the tick or if it's over a period of time, just leave that field blank. Okay, so let's add the person's name, Diane Jones. A description, what do they look like? So she is skinny with blue and red hair and a pierced nose. Do you know their address? Yes, we know their address. We have part of the address as 21 High Street. So we'll input that, but remember, if you know the full address, put all the details in. So do they have access to weapons? Well, we know this person has access to a knife, so we'll input what details we know about the knife into this area. So she carries a butterfly knife and conceals it in one of her boots. Do they have any social media accounts? If they do, you can go to the social media site and what you can do, you can go to the address bar at the top of the screen, click into the field, copy it, then you can go back to the reporting form, click into the reporting form field and paste the information into there. It just makes it easier to identify the person. This person doesn't attend school or college, so we're not going to enter any information into the next field. You now need to confirm that this form is not being used to report something 
that needs urgent police attention. So put a tick in the box at the bottom of the form and then we will look at submitting the form anonymously. When submitted, you will get a confirmation that the form has been submitted and it will be dealt with in the appropriate manner. But please remember, we're not just about online anonymous reporting. We're about providing information and safeguarding people, providing information on sexting, CSE, drug running, county lines, and many other things. If you would like to know more about Fearless, then come to fearless.org and see what we are about. I hope this information has been helpful. Thank you very much.